Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and today I am going to show you guys iPhodroid. So a while back, uh, the first version of iPhodroid was released, and I did a video on that, and it was very successful. And ever since then, I've been doing new videos on the latest releases of iPhodroid. But uh, I don't do it on every single release because not all of them are really that big, and they just fix minor things. However, this is the biggest release since it was actually released, and the reason for this is because all of the other versions have just been Mac only, and this one actually now includes PC, which is wonderful. It includes 64 and 32-bit, which is very, very nice. And also, it is a one-click deal. So let me show you what I mean really quick here. All you have to do is just open this folder. I'll talk about how to download the folder in a second. And then uh, this is what you get right here. You get this little window and you can exit recovery mode. You can just click cancel or you can click shoot. And when you click shoot, if your iPhone's uh, plugged in via USB, you can actually just install iPhodroid just with one shot, just like that. In fact, it's even called iPhodroid one shot on his website. So it's really great. And I'm going to show you his website really quick. This is his main website. And uh, the download is a little confusing here because what you do is you scroll down and right here where it says Windows Release 3G you should be able to click on that and then when you scroll down it should be right here Windows Release 3G where it says download the newest PC version so you click on it and it just takes you back to the home page so he should fix that later uh, you guys are welcome to try that but I'm also going to upload it onto Mediafire so you guys can easily download it without uh, the hassle of having to search for links. Also when you first get it it's going to be like this. It is going to be in a RAR folder so you're going to need to use some type of RAR extracting program to get it out of there. I recommend WinRAR if you're on the PC and uh, I will have a link to that in the more info. If you're on a Mac, you don't have to worry about it. All you have to do is just open it and you can either click extract or what I like to do is just drag and drop. But I already have it there, so I'm just gonna click no to override. And then uh, all you have to do is just open up that folder and then click on iPhodroid. The Mac version is a little different. I'm not gonna get into that. It just mounts it and then you can just open it. It's just really super simple. It's even easier than the PC version, in my opinion. And all you have to do to download the Mac version is just scroll down. And right here where it says iPhodroid 0.63G, you just click on that and it will download it. And this is the Mac version. The other one's the PC version, but like I said, it doesn't work all the time, so I will have a link for a Mediafire download in the more info. And I'm not trying to claim that iPhodroid is my creation, I'm just re-uploading it for people to uh, better find it and for people to actually have access to it as opposed to getting it from his website. So I'm not going to get into it, but all you guys have to do is just click that button and you will have Froyo running on your iPhone. And it's pretty sweet. I'm not going to do it because I actually don't like it. But you guys are more than welcome to do it. Leave a comment on this video if you want to see me make a tutorial for anything, really. And hopefully I'll make it. So, like I said, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, comment, and rate if you want to see more videos similar to this one. This is ICU, signing out.